In 1956, another pioneer in children's programming rode into town. He'd been a rodeo star and entertainer, and he was great with kids. The question was, would a cowboy show be popular in New England? There were skeptics, as Rex Trailer remembered. Well, I was invited uh, to come to Boston to participate in a television show and, uh, at Channel 4, and I called some of my friends in the Boston area, and they said there had been other attempts to have Western shows in the area, and they just didn't go. So I said, well, I'd come up and give it a try, and everybody said, well, you'll be lucky if it lasts six months and a year at the most. However, as it turns out, we were on the air for 18 years on Channel 4. With his first sidekick, Pablo, played by veteran television actor Dick Kilbride, Rex Trailer invented the character later known as Cactus Pete. He was an old man who lived in a mine shaft, and he didn't exactly know his way around town. We had a little adventure that Pablo and I used to do, uh, where the, the old man would come out of the mine and then get lost all over the city of Boston and have great adventures. And, and the kids really got wrapped up in this because he was lost in the city of Boston for almost a year. And kids would call up the station and get very excited and write us letters that they spotted the old man on Boston Common, down on Tremont Street, on Washington Street, no matter where they found him. Any man with an old beard was the old man we were looking for. Boomtown's greatest innovation resulted from its need for more room than a studio could provide. So Boomtown moved outdoors, first to the old MDC trotting track on Soldiers Field Road, and then to a special set behind the studios. Looking at it, you'd think you were in Hollywood instead of Boston. It was a western town. It was a practical western town. It was right out behind the studio. It was like the movie lot of MGM or uh, 20th Century Fox. Looked like uh, an actual western town, had a general store, uh, the Boomtown Opera House, a hotel, Boomtown Hotel, balcony and all. Uh, we had a barn in which we stabled Gold Rush, my horse, and it worked out beautifully. For many years, we, uh, we had that western town out behind the studio, and we had uh, some great times out there. 